So I'm organizing again today. <laughs> today we're organizing the pantry and the refrigerator, which definitely get junked up over time. If you're grocery shopping and you're in a hurry, you don't have time to clean it out every single time, it can get kind of crazy. What my mom used to do growing up was she would clean the refrigerator and have it kind of like ready to go and then she would go grocery shopping. I don't always get a chance to do that. Um, so I say go through it every once in a while and clean it out like what we're gonna do today. So I'm starting with the pantry here. I have these little pull-out drawers. Kind of over time, things just end up being random. We started this pantry off pretty well, but then as we get new boxes of cereal and little snacks for my son, it gets a little bit more cluttered. And it's totally up to you how you want to do it. I'm a huge fan of these OXO containers. This is actually something that my husband came up with because he was a chef, works in professional kitchens, and he wants all of his ingredients to be really accessible. So I'm a big fan of that as well. You know I love to organize. <laughs> so um, yeah, so this is basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with each shelf and I'm gonna remove everything. I'm gonna clean the shelves because there's always a little bit of debris on the bottom. And then once I do that, I'm going to take some of my containers and reorganize. Okay, so not every pantry is built the same, so you might have a totally different pantry than mine, but I think the key is to kind of take everything out, get rid of anything that's old, stale, or expired, clean up the pantry a bit. I'm using equal parts vinegar and water and these flour sacks. I bought these flour sacks at the same time that I bought my bar towels. I also bought them on Amazon, so I use these as well. So like I was saying, after a while, you'll collect a lot of different boxes. So I took everything out, anything that was stale or expired or old, I tossed. So I'm also gonna clean that out. We've been investing in OXO containers. You can find them on sale at Home Goods in different places over the course of our marriage um, so that we can really see the ingredients that we have to work with and we don't waste as much. So for us, they've been really great. If I have half of a bag of cereal, I might just put one or two of those half bags in an OXO container. So these are actually the cereal containers and I found these on sale at Target and I picked up three of them so I had enough to fit all of my cereal and those are kind of newer to my OXO collection. I usually just had the containers for pasta and nuts and beans and things like that which I'll show you later but these are new so I'm stacking those into the second shelf and then I also have a great little basket. I've used it, I got it on Etsy a while back. I've used it, I've put flowers in there, I've put drinks in there in the summer but right now I thought it was the perfect place to store some of the little granola bars and some of the more special snacks the boxes can get kind of cluttery so I just stacked everything in there and then when Oliver asks for a snack I can let him know oh you can go get one on your own and he can just grab it um, so yeah it's a lot cleaner and I was happy to have those new containers I have this one pasta container um, but since I have a bunch of like three quarters of pasta left I just kind of stashed them all in there but once I'm finished with all that that fits a full thing of pasta as well I have my supplements and all the different lentils and broths and things like that. I put that up there. And the bottom two little pull-out drawers are pretty much all of the collected OXO containers. We have beans, nuts, rice, and I'm just gonna pull everything out and clean it out. Clean all your containers off. And then what I like to do is I like to take a look at what I'm out of. So I have pecans, I'm out of pecans, pistachios. So I can add those to my grocery list. So next I'm gonna label. Some of these things are labeled properly and already have the labels. Some of them have been switched out, moved around. We didn't buy the same ingredient multiple times, so I'm gonna relabel it, and then the rest will just go right back in. I have my trusty label maker. Beans and lentils in the back, chickpeas, couscous. So everything's nice and organized. You can see because they're labeled on top, so you know exactly 
what to get. And if you want, you can keep a little scooper up top here and then just open and scoop out whatever you need. Or you can come in and just grab the container and put it back when you're done. So we got jasmine rice, got risotto, basmati, Uncle Ben's. I got lots of Uncle Ben's. I'm Armenian and we have a rice pilaf recipe that goes way far back in my family. It includes Uncle Ben's rice, so that's at least the recipe now. I make it all the time for holidays, so I always have it. These rice noodles, which are also a part of that recipe. Brown basmati, so rolled oats, and then quinoa. So there are so many different ways to organize your pantry, but I think the key is whatever works for you so you can see what you're working with, you have all the ingredients that you need, and you don't waste as much. So next, we're moving into the refrigerator. So this is kind of embarrassing. This is what happens though. Everything goes everywhere eventually. Things get put back, and uh, it's time for me to go through and clean it out. use this to clean out the fridge. And I also highly recommend a good pair of gloves when you're cleaning, when you're doing dishes, when you're working with a sponge. I'm allergic to dish soap, and so I have to wear gloves when I'm cleaning. And it does save your nails and stuff too, so. So if you can remove the shelves from your refrigerator, I would highly recommend removing them and cleaning them thoroughly with a sponge. Some of mine can't be removed, so I don't always do that, but I try to clean out my fridge thoroughly once a week, once every other week at least, otherwise it gets pretty gross. And when you pull these out and clean them, it's much better and cleaner. So when you bring your fresh groceries in, you know that you can organize everything and it's pretty sanitary inside your refrigerator. So I'm gonna store these on top. I've got my sprouted, my sprouted breads go bad really fast. So you wanna definitely refrigerate those or freeze them. So I'm gonna have those at the top. So I'm keeping that pretty simple. For the second shelf, things that you can grab. If you are a meal planner and you know you're gonna be using your ingredients pretty quickly, you can use Pyrex bowls like these. You definitely don't have to do this. You can use their original containers, but I think this looks really pretty and you can move everything around to make it fit. For right now, I'm just gonna put this here and kind of move everything around as I go. For this one, I'm putting in all my beverages. So we have regular milk drinkers in the family and we also have coconut and almond milk usually. So I'm gonna put the beverages in here. We have a little bit of space. So for this shelf in the drawer, this is where I keep all the meats and cheeses. Just gonna clean that out real quick. So to this drawer, I'm just gonna line it with some paper towel. So on the menu for this week, we have wild Alaskan salmon. So that's gonna go in there. We're trying to reduce meat eating a little bit. So I don't have a ton of meat actually right now, but I do have cheese, cause I love cheese. But I usually keep them in Ziploc bags. All the different cheeses for cooking. Mozzarella, feta, string cheese is a fan fave around here. So deli meats are gonna go up here. We do have some deli meats. Those can go in the cheese drawer as well. For this drawer, we have veggies. I'm also lining this. So all of our veggies are gonna go in there. Have some fresh basil, have some parsley. So some vegetables actually do not need to be refrigerated, but any of the ones that do need to be refrigerated, I'm stacking inside here and trying to make sure that it's as visible as possible so that I can get use out of them. So tallest in the back, smallest in the front. Sauce. Sriracha. Ooh, this island soyaki dressing is so good. Move things around to make it work. There we go. Okay, so that completes my pantry and refrigerator cleanout. Some people might think this is crazy and over the top, and other people might think I'm not doing enough. <laughs> it kind of all depends on your own personal preference. So, hey, hopefully it inspires you to clean out your refrigerator and pantry. And this is the last of my organizing series for right now. I'm moving on to a skincare series next. If you like my channel, please be sure to subscribe. I put up new videos twice a week. Check out my last two videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.